Giant redwoods, cute squirrels, huge grizzlies, and fierce night owls. Let's take a look at a temperate forest ecosystem. Temperate forests are ecosystems with enough rainfall and sunlight for tall trees to grow. Reaching high above the rich soil they grow in are oak trees, maples, elms, and birches, to name just a few. The types of trees depends largely on the region too. In North American temperate forests, you'll also find conifers like pines and hemlocks. Australian temperate forests are dominated by eucalyptus trees. We call them gum trees over here. Not sure why. I'll have to look into that. Below the towering trees is a diverse layer of grasses, shrubs, ferns and mosses. A variety of mushrooms and other fungi like puffballs and bracket fungi can be found growing in the soil or attached to fallen tree trunks. Fungi play an important role in breaking down plant and animal matter, which recycles vital nutrients back into the soil. The thick vegetation provides homes for a variety of animal populations, particularly mammals. We're talking bears, deers, porcupines, rabbits, squirrels, and big cats like cougars and bobcats. Tall trees with hollow trunks means plenty of space for birds to raise their young. There's owls, woodpeckers, robins, and jays. Hawks and eagles too. The forest floor provides an ideal environment for a range of snakes and lizards and a huge diversity of insects, spiders, and other creepy crawlies. You'll also find animals like earthworms, slugs, and snails hiding amongst the leaf litter or under rocks and logs. Temperate forests usually have four distinct seasons. Summer, fall, winter, and spring. The changes in weather from season to season affect the organisms in the ecosystem. In fall, the weather begins to cool. To conserve energy, the leaves of some trees change colour, then fall to the ground. The leaves grow back when the weather warms as spring approaches. During winter, some animals have to leave the ecosystem and return in the spring. Ah yes, about those gum trees. They're called gum trees because of the thick sap that oozes from the trunk when they get damaged. A bit like chewing gum, I guess. Don't forget to subscribe!